an American detour where we're doing a thing called Cheap Thrills. Cheap Thrills is pretty much this moped. We're gonna take the moped out and make it run and go fast because it's probably gonna be your first hot ride because around 14 or 15 years old, you can take a moped and drive it legally. You can get a license. So, that's what we're gonna do because we have literally no money. No money. Or actually, we have like $200, but yeah. no, we're gonna, not we're not gonna spend that on something that's worth it. So, the thing is though, it's in this pile of mess, bikes, a boat, and we gotta get it out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Good. Yeah, it's kind of weird looking in it. Yeah. Alright, so right now, since it's not running, we gotta take it all the way up to the garage because we got spark plugs and stuff up there. Luke's gonna pedal and I'm gonna agonize him by driving my car right next to him. It's gonna be great. Oh, oh, bam. This is the key to our success, otherwise it kind of won't work. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to drive this... Alright, so I'm going to drive this perfectly fine moped scooter down and go get gas for our really crappy 82 scooter. <laughs> I should use it, be using carb cleaner, but this... Oh, that'll work just fine. It also works for burning your eyes. In all honesty, we didn't get the moped running on that weekend, but the next weekend we are working on it even more, but you'll see that in like 30 seconds because it's edited together. But anyway, we decided, hey, since the other one's not working right now and we have some extra time, why not just go out and mess around with a perfectly good moped that runs really great? So, that's what we did. So I came to the pretty tough decision that I think I should just go ahead and overhaul the entire bike and like not paint it.
but go ahead and go through the engine, rewire it, and things like that because it honestly needs it. It doesn't run very good at all. It doesn't run, period. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and start on that tonight, and I am going to get it done by the end of the week. That's the challenge. Writing like this is sort of rough, but in all honesty, I would deal with it because this is just, it looks awesome. Alright, so right now I'm going to do some spray outs. I got two colors of paint. The green is going to be the tank of the moped. The, oh, the sand gray is going to be the frame because I'm going to go for an army look. A very, very, very army utilitarian look because we're into that kind of stuff because America. Right, so here's something that's kind of cool that you just don't see every day. This right here is the head of the moped. It's only one cylinder. This is where the spark plug goes in. This is like the combustion chamber. And it's just really cool to see how small that is. That's literally just a smaller version of a regular huge engine. It's just really kind of cool to see that. To see that it's the almost exact same and it's just smaller. fantastic this thing I'm not even kidding you this thing has ran better than it's ever ran and I've been riding this thing for probably about five years now on and off all right so what all have I done to this thing though I've done a lot I've done it I've done a crap ton of this thing I took the engine out I tore it apart I cleaned it out I made sure everything was working correctly which it was I did a little bit of rewiring and that was the fix that was the demon tweak that made this thing run terrific all right so what do we have to look forward to in upcoming episodes of American Detail? Well, episode 2 is going to be, of course, the challenge with the moped. But, episode 3 marks the start of a four-episode series of our new project car, which we're going to show you a teaser of right now. Prepare to be, are you ready to be amazed? Ready to be amazed. It's like 20, actually it's 19.6 repeating feet long of Ford Lincoln from here. First impressions. Large. Heavy. That was insane. Oh, you're doing pretty good, sir. 